Hello everyone, welcome back to Lovely Lavender Wishes. We are continuing on our work on our um, Under the Sea uh, journal. So let me show you what I've done so far. All I did, I kept it, um, kept this journal like it was, except I inked up the edges with brown, brown ink, and then I sprayed it all. It's still a little damp, so I'm going to let it dry, but I sprayed it all with coffee spray as you can see to make it kind of look like sand and I think it turned out really well but unfortunately probably most of this is going to be covered with paper and such but in case I wanted to do I think that's going to be a pocket so I didn't spray that but in case I want um, to leave some of this as is or maybe do a collage I've got this background on it so it didn't take me long at all to spray it just a couple minutes real quick so I sprayed that. So I'm gonna let this finish drying and then we're gonna start working on this. Um, okay, so today we are going to work on this, the book that we are going to insert into our big book. So here's our book, still haven't done anything in it yet. There's a lot of steps I gotta do, but this book is going to sit in here. Let me take all this out. Sit in here like so. And this is going to get glued to the back, uh, back cover, and it'll be sitting in here, and it'll kind of be like the treasure chest, and it's going to open up. And then this book, this one, is going to bloop, plop in here, and it's going to be magnetized, so it'll stay. So it'll like go like this, and it'll be magnetized. And then you can pull it out, it'll be removable. So in case you want to put anything else in there, you can. And I'm thinking thinking now that I was just thinking about that um we are going to put let's see uh oh sorry silk piece back here so luckily I thought of that before we put this in here yay okay so let's get working on this it's a, it should be a quick video well should be but who knows who knows what's going to happen Okay, so the first thing, let's move all this. Don't need this one. So we're only gonna work on this. And I am going to do this background. I've already got it started. I wanted to see if it was going to work. Um, we're going to drape this with uh, this cheesecloth that we dyed. So it kind of looks like it's under the seat. And then this part will be showing um, in the on the outside of the journal. It'll look really cool once we're done, hopefully. Hopefully, cross fingers, okay. First thing we're gonna do, before I forget, I am going to glue in my magnets. Um, where, which, let me grab my glue here. So we're gonna glue in the magnets and get these stuck in real well. Okay, I wanna make sure I have the right side up, okay. So before you do your cover, your back cover on your, um, on this book, I need to, I'm gonna put two little crosses so I remember I need to put magnets on those underneath the main paper before we you know glue the paper on so these will be underneath the page that we're gonna glue on here okay the other thing I wanted to do, okay, let's see that goes in there. Okay, so this is going to go on top of here. And let me grab some hole punches. I am going to put, so this is where. first crease. This is kind of how I do it. It's going to go and then second crease. So 
so that will go right there in the there we go okay so there's our spine right there so now I'm going to go in and punch a hole um, I'm gonna go in as far as I can so probably about an inch like that actually I'm gonna grab let me see if I have some big uh, rads or eyelets that I could put in there to reinforce the holes. Let's see. If I just have some big ones, I guess I can do these silver. They'll be hidden mostly anyways. Let's see if that hole is too big to punch. Nope, perfect, okay. I'm thinking on the fly as we go, y'all. A lot of times, like today, I've been so scattered. I don't know what the deal is. Let me grab my crocodile. My brain is mush today. For some reason, it's just not thinking straight. I haven't slept much in the last few days, so that may be the reason. Um, but, you know, I've never had that problem before. I, I hardly ever sleep, so, <laughs> you know. But today, my, you know, the older I get, the more my brain turns to mush. Ah! Okay, now let's see if I can. Get it down there. Yay. Okay, there's one. So I'm reinforcing the holes because I'm going to put my sorry silk. There we go. That's the side. Through here. So let me grab some sorry silk. And let's see if this will be long enough. If we pull this through, we'll have some blue and some green, or do I have more of just green? Let's see. Some blue. Okay, where'd my scissors go? Let's see if we put that through. right about there right about there I know I cut my sorry silk in the middle y'all sometimes it probably will drive some of y'all crazy but I use this sorry silk for just like little pieces like this so it doesn't really bother me that I cut it in the middle when I need the colors that I need okay I'm gonna try to get this through this hole now The... Ah, yep. Pulled that out. I was pulling too tight. Oh, it might not work with that. Um, with this uh, sewed part. This is where they attach the other sorry silk, the other color. See if I can get it through there. Nope, that might not work. Okay. Okay, let's try this again. Try it again. Maybe we will use ribbon instead. Okay, let's throw this one out. Let's try that again, y'all. Take two. Take two. <laughs> so you see all my struggles. This is what happens when I am crafting. See, unless yes see yeah, I've got an end there I wonder if that will be long enough if I cut that part off let's see that may not be long enough I just want to make sure I had the amount I needed try again oh come on Okay, y'all, start laughing at me now. 
Oh, we can do this. We can, we can. What in the world? I think this hole is too big. This one worked. Okay, I'm having issues, y'all. That hole is a little bigger. I should have just used my my hole punch on here, but I thought of it after the fact. So now I'm trying to make it work. We'll make it work. We will make it work. Okay, we can do this. Come on. That should work, hopefully, hopefully. If not, we'll go to step two. Okay. Let's see if this will be long enough. If not, I can use some ribbon. Ah, yeah, this hole for some reason, this one did it good. I need to find one that's going to flower out like that. Let me see if I have, oh, some of these are bigger than others. Let me see here. one might be let's try that one that one should work hopefully look like it flowered out Okay, I'm gonna leave those there because it looks like I might need them again. My goodness, y'all. Okay, one. problem whatsoever with that one. <laughs> oh, no problem. Okay, so here is, and that'll be perfect, that'll be enough. Okay, so we're gonna keep this here so we can add, um, add something in this uh, Whatever, the signature if, if we need to. Yay, okay, let's move all this. Okay, get that out of my way. Oops, hang on y'all. I gotta grab this, which just fell down right there. Okay. okay, so now, are gonna this is like a comedy act y'all I'm going to put glue on all this when I first started making these videos y'all I thought it all had to like oh I can't make a mistake on camera it has to be you know perfect whatever well, I'm long since past that now. <laughs> it's like, uh, you can all see all the struggles I have as I am crafting. You all are family now, you know? Okay, so let's make sure we get this where it needs to go. I'm gonna make sure this is in the middle. This is in the middle. And I'm probably gonna need some clamps. And I wanna make sure it's down there really good. And straight. Okay, let 
let me grab my my clamps. This is right where the magnets are, so I want to get this glued down. And then I'm going to make sure that this is gluing into the spine where I need it. So that's going to clamp right there. You know, now I need a little one. I'm getting big ones. When I need big ones, I get little ones. Okay, well, apparently, God is saying grab the big one, so I'm gonna put that one there. Put that one there, and I definitely need a little one for the spine right here. Okay, so that will dry. Sure, it is all. I want this one to be. That's a pretty thick magnet right there. That one's nice and thin. This one might be a little too thick. Might be too puffy. Oh, we'll see. Let's try a little one. Usually what I'll do is I'll let this dry overnight. Just to make sure it's like really in there. And make sure that you can bend it and everything and that it is. I always fiddle y'all. I'm always fiddling, fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. So I always want to make sure that it's really in there securely and that I can bend the book and do everything I need to do. Okay, so we'll let that dry a tad. In the meantime, I'm going to work on this. So we can work on this while that's drying. So this part, this back part, is going to be glued in to right here okay so this part you're not gonna see that's gonna be glued down so this part doesn't matter what it looks like but I want it to kind of swoop over the spine here and I want to kind of bunch it up and have it like just like this this net so I don't want to mod podge the whole thing down okay I can't open it fully like that so we're gonna open it like this for now. Okay, so I take my Mod Podge. So this was that netting cheesecloth that we dyed. I'm gonna take my brush, and this is how I glue it onto the back. So this stuff will make it stick good. That way, when this whole thing gets glued to um, the book, this will be down. I also wanted to see what it would look like when it dried and it keeps the color, so that's good. But I like having a little bit in the back here so it's definitely secure. Like this whole thing is going to be secure. Because I don't want to Mod Podge all this down because it will make it really flat. I want to kind of bunch it up. So I want to make sure that this part is very secure. Um, and I want some of this to kind of come around this edge and bunch up over here. So... This makes it all flat on this side so I can glue this whole thing down. Again, you don't have Mod Podge, use glue. Use gesso. 
Use whatever you have that'll make it stick. Super glue, <laughs> whatever. It doesn't matter, just as long as, you can even tape it down, because you're not gonna see this part. So whatever you have, you can use. I just want this really secure. I have my Mod Podge out, so might as well use it. Flatten all this out. Okay. So that will dry. Let's turn it this way. So I want this, again, like I said, to kind of come around this, this edge way. And meanwhile, I've got these on here. So this is a little bit harder to do when I've got all these clips, but we will try it. Okay, now some of this I'm going to Mod Podge down. Just a tad. Especially on the edges. I don't want to Mod Podge the whole thing because as you can see, it, it gets um, like this, I don't know, like pa not a pasty feel, but I want to be able to feel the net. You know, I want that tactile um, feel to the net. So I'm gonna Mod Podge certain areas down and we'll kind of glue certain areas down. Actually, I'm gonna take my glue stick and go under here and I'm gonna put some glue in areas and bunch this down, bunch this netting. <laughs> With all these clips on it, this is like extra hard. I just want the netting to be like bunchy and just like it's like just kind of floating in the water and then I'm going to Mod Podge the ends down and just in a few areas to make sure that it's gonna be secure. And so we'll have like these, uh, And it is dripping down the. We don't want to mod podge this clip to the book. No, we do not. <laughs> Again, you're not going to see this side, so it's not even going to matter. Okay, so this is going to be the front. So this is the part you are going to see. So I want this. Again, I'm going to take my glue stick and just. This is just the temporary hold for me right now. So I'm just smearing it all over the book. And actually, once this does dry on this cheesecloth, it, do, it does hold it pretty well. But I'll put some Mod Podge in some areas too to make sure. Let me get rid of this, whatever that is. Okay, so I want to bunch up the netting. See, I want it to be like this again, this tactile feel to it. Like it's waving in the water or it just washed up onto shore and it's just kind of you know, it's on the sand. I love that. Let's see. 
Okay, and then this part is going to wrap around. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to put a book on this. So this part, oh my gosh, y'all, I'm making a mess. It's gonna wrap around and go on top of this piece. So once we get this dry, this is gonna glue on top of here. So I'm gonna have a piece on here. And then this is going to wrap around and continue and finish off in here. And we'll have, we'll put something in here, maybe like a pocket or something or a decoration or something. Or, or, or I might just leave it plain. I might just put a little fish swimming by or something. Um, so this is gonna wrap around into here, if that makes sense. So this is almost dry. This looks dry. I have to put some more glue under this one, it looks like, right here. And then that piece is gonna go on top. That'll secure it in even more. Um, in the meantime, I've gotta let this kind of dry. Um, so I'm going to, again, go in with some Mod Podge and I'm gonna get these edges secure but I do want like some of the threads you know able to like float around and such so there's gonna just be certain areas I'm gonna put the Mod Podge on and that'll secure it And yes, you can still see that through there. I'm going to put this uh, shell right there and you'll still see some of that, but it'll look like it's like coral or whatever um, coming out from the shell. So that'll be, once this is all dry, this shell, we're just gonna go right there. And I'm gonna probably antique it up a little bit with that copper, kind of like what we did on our tags. Um, so I'll do that and that'll be this cover for the, um, inside of this book here. Ooh, I like that. Let's have that coming out like that. That Mod Podge will like secure that down there. I like these little pieces too. And then I'll do the same when I wrap this around. I hope this is making sense to y'all. And I have to let it dry before I can do the next part. But I wanna be able to feel the net, so I don't want it all secured down want to see it waving okay I'll leave that for now we'll see how that dries um, so that'll be the spine we'll see how this all works might have to mod podge a few other areas down so that'll be glued and then I'll put the shell on once this all dries Okay, so I'm gonna finish letting this dry. I'm gonna put some more glue under here. Actually, I'll do that right now. And then this piece, I cut to size. So that will go right in here once all this dries. And we'll glue that in, and then this is going to wrap around here and kind of finish off on the inside of the book. Okay, so there we go for today. I have to let a lot of this dry. I'm letting this continue to finish drying. It's a little damp still. I'm just gonna let it dry, and then we'll start working on this part as well as our signatures on the inside uh, for this one, the blue signatures. So let me see, I gotta figure out so all these blue pages, we're gonna work on some of these as well. I did sew the edges of these, if you can see. I don't remember if I 
told you all that, um, showed you that. So not all of them, just a few of the edges. Like I did maybe a third of the pages with three different colors, a white, a dark blue, and an aqua blue, and just did wave uh, stitching, you know, straight stitch, but you know, I just waved it so it looks like waves. So we got that on the inside of about a third of the pages. So we'll work on this as well. So there you go. That is the next little step. Um, a lot of this is like you do a little step, you got to let it dry. You do a little step, you got to let it dry. I mean, we could be working on um, the signatures as well. Um, but I just wanted to do a little bit of this today because I have a few other things I have to do. So I wanted to get just something done on this so I feel like I'm accomplishing something. <laughs> so there we go so far. Um, hopefully, once it's all dry, it'll turn out the way I have pictured in my head. Um, but we shall see. <laughs> so thanks y'all for joining me. I'll see you in the next video and keep crafting. Bye.